Can you first give uh, your name and position? Garrett Bridges, uh, Director of Basketball Operations for North Carolina Central Men's Basketball. Uh, Clarissa Adams and I am the Director of Operations for the women's basketball team at North Carolina Central University. Went to the St. Augustine University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, played basketball there from 06 to 08. Uh, graduated in 2010. I am a graduate of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I graduated in 05 when we won a championship. Um, I was an exercise and sports science major there. Once I graduated from UNC, I started working in operations with our football team. Ended up going to graduate school at North Carolina Central for sports administration. Graduated in 2016 or 17. Um, and uh, at that point though, actually, I had already taken a job um, as a GA at the University of Houston. Um, I did a GA for one year, then for the following two years, I did player development um, for them. Um, made a uh, round of 32 my second year, made a Sweet 16 last year. Then I took the position of Director of Ops for North Carolina Central Men's Basketball this past summer. I went to our women's basketball team and worked there for probably about seven years. And in the time that I was there, I actually met Coach Trish when she was an assistant coach for our team. And then once Coach Trish was named the head coach at North Carolina Central, I came with her to be her director of operations. What are some of the things that you have to go through on a daily basis? You just kind of have to juggle a bunch of hats um, anywhere from making sure purchase orders are in, um, things are getting paid for on time making sure the coaches have what they need, making sure a coach has what he needs, um, planning travel, booking travel, buses, planes. But I also do, am fortunate enough to have a, um, a good assistant director of basketball ops in Michelle McLeod. Um, she makes it easier for me because you're able to literally give her some things and she can handle it and take care of it. And you don't have to worry about it. As the director of operations, I like to be behind the scenes. So this is not the best place for me. <laughs> but I do some of the uh, daily things as far as helping organize um, our practice schedule, um, coordinating with our facilities manager and, you know, different aspects on campus to make sure that we have things in place. I order gear, I arrange uh, travel for the team. I work with our nutritionist to get meals for the team. It's making sure I communicate with everyone, so I'm kind of the liaison between the coaches and the student athletes to make sure everyone knows what's going on. And one of the things that does really help is my staff. Uh, they're really great. We kind of know each other and know what we expect from one another, so it's easy for me to plan in that respect because I kind of know the answers before having to um, ask them of our coaches. Talk about that transition coming to uh, North Carolina Central? Um, it wasn't a major transition for me. I'm from North Carolina, number one. Uh, number two, my parents uh, both attended HBCU, so I was kind of one of the proponents to tell her this was a great job. Um, and so being familiar with the area, I already lived in Durham. I knew a lot of things about the area and location and everything. So it was an easy transition for me. You're also with, you know, head coach Lavelle Bowen a lot. Talk about that relationship you like with him and kind of being sort of so his right hand man when it comes to those type of things. It's been great getting to know coach. Um, you know, I will say uh, he's a very uh, direct person, which you appreciate. Uh, he doesn't beat around the scenes. He lets you know exactly what he wants, which makes your job easier. The relationship between you and Coach Church. So yes, yeah, she was um, the new kid on the block. She was high energy. She's a very easy person to get along with, to be around. Um, the student athletes loved her, fans, um, alumni loved her. So I always thought that she would be a great head coach. And then, you know, talking about, you know, some of the best times you've had so far in your uh, year, the season uh, with North Carolina Central? This entire year has been great for me. Um, you know, Houston was home, but you're able to step out of that and step into something else and you don't grow inside your comfort zone. You kind of have to become uncomfortable and be comfortable in uncomfortability. And so um, that's what this year has been. We've had, um, obviously, at this level, non-conference is a little tough because, you know, you take your bumps early on. But ever since we've hit conference, we've been in such a great groove. Uh, the guys have been great. Staff's been great. Coach has been great. So, you know, the, the year in general has just been great. 
And, you know, if you have to give a message to anybody who wants to become, you know, director of basketball operations, what's some of the things that you will tell them, the tools that they might need uh, for the future? Of the I think, number one, you got to have a vision of how you want to conduct yourself professionally. Um, that's something that I've always kind of known, especially with my background. Of, I've seen things that work and things that don't work. Organization is key. Um, there are a lot of moving parts on a daily basis. That's the beauty of the job. That is also the part of the job that can com become cumbersome to some people. But if you are organized and you kind of know what you need to get accomplished, then you'll be fine. Um, communicate. Communication is key. There is never a time when I don't feel like I can't ask my coach something, ask the players. At the end of the day, we get done what needs to be done. And just realizing that this is a game that takes you a lot of different places. So just take time to relish the fact that you have the opportunity and take advantage of the different experiences you get to be a part of by being a part of a team and in this role as the director of operations. Um, I think everybody on this staff is just hungry. Um, I think that's why you've kind of seen what you've seen this year. You know, um, coaches basically had Everybody on the staff is new except for Coach Sharp. And so um, I think it normally takes time for chemistry to develop. Um, but we've, you know, got such a good camaraderie from day one. Everybody kind of got along. Everybody's, you know, a real tight knit group. You know, not just the players, but the coaching staff as well. You'll catch us walking together, eating together, lunch together, joking, laughing, you know, having a good time, keeping everybody's spirits up. I think that kind of trickles down through the players. Players are tight, they're close. And you know, when you have that type of stuff, you can always do something special. And so, um, for anybody watching, I just would say, um, you know, like I said, four years ago, I was doing high school stuff, man, um, and was really trying to figure out how I could fit into this coaching game. I got blessed with an opportunity, and I think that that's the key. You, you kind of have to take your opportunity and run with it. Um, you may not be where you want to be right then and right now, but what you have to constantly remind yourself of is there was some, there's somebody somewhere that would kill to be where you're at. You know, there's somebody right now that would love to just have the opportunity to be around this program, see the things I see on a daily, and you know, you can't take that type of stuff for granted. You have to have an appreciation for where you're at, and so um, that's in any career you choose, um, but you know, especially in coaching, so.